Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about sensitive programmers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as someone who is married to a very sensitive woman, but I'm not very sensitive myself, I wonder what happens to programmers who are very sensitive and need a lot of help in the workplace. Well, Usually what happens is one of two things. Uh, for the most part, you will find that there is a range to the amount of help and expectations that you can ask of people. And I mean, this is the same sort of thing with practically anything in society. If uh, you are, as I like to say, a victim, or you have a victim mentality, you are put your future in the hands of other people and their goodwill. Now the problem with doing that is that uh, well of course in some cases you can't really do anything else because you I mean if you need help you need help. The problem is that uh, different people just as different companies will have different amounts of goodwill and patience with you and some people will have absolutely none of it and they won't help you, they won't lift a finger to help you almost regardless of how horrible your situation is and some people will have a lot of goodwill and actually go the extra mile for you. Now the same thing goes for companies. Uh, in some companies if you are sensitive or you are socially awkward or you need a lot of help to get started they will just pretty much look at you as a waste and you will get fired. They won't because they, they have a, an expectation of you uh, where they want you to be pretty much self-reliant immediately. And there are many complicated reasons as to why that mismatch in expectation can happen. It's one part of course that the company themselves they don't actually know how to uh, like that they, they don't know or they don't have no interest in hiring and training people they want workers that are productive and then they hire you thinking that you will be one of those people and then it turns out that actually no you're not good enough or you're not you you haven't progressed far enough in your career so this company can't help you and then you if you get lucky you get to be in a company where you have teammates or people who are looking out for you but even that uh, has uh, a few pitfalls that you might find yourself in. So what I've seen happen before is that uh, if there is a mismatch between the amount of assistance one person needs from the from the others or from the people who are supposed to help them out, the there can there can be other problems. Uh, and that is one of those things which I think that a lot of people don't understand uh, or rather people who have a even the slightest bit of reflection and are not true as I like to call true victims and not so selfish that they can't understand this they, they will understand that there is a finite amount of help that you can ask from another person what is reasonable what I mean by that is that it, it is a tough it's a tough situation because if you really do need help you have no other choice than to ask for it and sure if uh, if someone is not willing to help you even on the, the most uh, circ uh, extreme circumstances it might be the case that well that person is very selfish but even if they are willing to help you you have uh, the clock is ticking and what I mean by that the clock is ticking is that if as I was saying every person no, no matter what resource you were talking about where if we're talking cognitive resources it can be energy empathy uh, hate uh, patience goodwill like whatever it is I like to say that all of these things are as uh, it's it's like a pool and when you give away your goodwill or your patience or something like that you're draining that pool and you need some time f to replenish it because if you're uh, just as b energy if you keep on working out really really hard you're draining your energy reserves and then you need to rest a little bit and eat and so forth to get them back up but if you have someone who is constantly 
draining away your patience and so forth and this is very individual like some people drain their pool really quickly some t can ha some have a lot of patience and so forth we're all different we have different amounts of resources and burn rate on this resource and so if you put the person who needs a lot of help and with the person who doesn't don't have all that much patience uh, and I see this usually happens actually you will see that people start resenting the person even if they're willing to help you you are simply asking for too much there is such a thing as wanting too much help and that is uh, that is a very real thing that's actually what I see usually happens to programmers who are either very sensitive or very weak in their coding skills uh, if they it's extremely rare that uh, they uh, that they find someone who is willing to just help them endlessly i don't even think that there is uh, i don't consider i think it's it that's a theoretical person no more no matter who you are there is a limit to how far you're willing to help another person until you start to want as an as the person who's helping you want to see them progress that's kind of the thing so if you ha are going through a rough patch you should know that it is okay to well, usually, at the very least, it is okay to ask people for help. You mean not every single person is going to care about your problems, but the people who will care, they will come and they will guide you or they will help you out, and it doesn't matter if it's just programming. But uh, there is a finite amount of time that you have that people will sympathize with you, and uh, at some point, it can be days, it can be years, we don't really know they will start going from thinking that you, oh, you, that they, they will stop thinking and feeling sorry for you and they will start feeling that you are annoying and that is something that I see a lot with uh, like uh, junior programmers who are way too sensitive or way too weak or they don't progress fast enough with more experienced developers because uh, at some point the people who are helping you out are going to want to see you progress and sh that you show progress and if you never do that and you just continuously as a, you're continuously a burden they're going to go from feeling that they should help you to really thinking that you it's thinking that you're annoying and just in the way all the time so what I want you to take away from this is that usually very sensitive programmers and people who are very weak in coding, they either get fired very quickly because the company has no interest in having them around because they are looking for someone who is fairly independent, or they are lucky and they get into a team where the people there care like, and they're willing, to, they're willing to go the extra mile for their coworker. And then, as I like to say, the clock starts ticking because you will have, depending on group and depending on who you talk to, uh, you will only have so much time to show that you are learning from all the assistance that you are getting before people start getting annoyed with you. If you're coming every five minutes and asking for help with even like the smallest trivial things, I mean, technically it's not necessarily, it's not strictly just your fault, but the problem is that, uh, as I said, for most people, patience and goodwill and so forth it is a resource and if you drain that resource all the time and then you never allow it to build back up because you can't be independent enough people are going to start to resent you and I've seen this happen many times where more experienced developers have come to me in confidence and said that yeah I mean I, I'm so tired of helping this person out because like it's it's never enough they just need need it all the time and it's it's really getting to me so it, it, it is a, it is a fine balance uh, to ask for just enough help so that you can progress and grow stronger yourself and being so dependent on somebody or asking for it so much that it's actually starting to piss people off have a great day